After all of the tough talking, pledges, promises and controversy, it was never going to be anything but an anxious election night in the US. America and beyond on edge, waiting to find out if it was Trump or Clinton. In the final hours, a group of mariachis from Mexico make a musical protest outside Trump Towers in New York. Trump's campaign stirring up things in Mexico with his verbal attacks on migrants and threats to build a border wall. This election has been very sad, she says, and it's had a big impact on all of us. So this is an opportunity to experience some happiness now that the election is coming to an end. Over the border in a bar in Mexico City, US expats are glued to TV screens as results start pouring in. American citizens here in Mexico largely back Clinton. I think we're just as nervous here <laughs> as they are in the United States. We're very nervous. We want it to be over and we want her to win. Celebrations back in the Big Apple as supporters at Trump's headquarters here he's taken the key battleground states of Florida. Things are looking good for the Republican presidential candidate. At the US Embassy in London, there was a Brexit-style shock all over again. Trump's series of wins in battleground states being compared to the UK's historic vote to leave the EU. All of my British friends, there's no way Brexit could happen. And, and I, as a foreigner, thought, you know what, I think this is going to happen. Because it tells a deeper, a deeper disconnect at heart. There's, a, there's some people who really do feel disenfranchised. They feel their, their, their country and their world slipping away. They don't want that to happen. And definitely the same thing happened in America. In Philadelphia, Democrats gather at a hotel to see the election results come in. Things are getting tense here. It's a little closer than I think a lot of people expected, but also a lot of the states that are expected for Clinton, at least, the results haven't come in yet. And so I expect the, the results to change from where they are now. But, yeah, definitely a little anxious. In New York, Clinton's campaign chairman later tells supporters waiting for her to speak to go home. It's all over for the Democrats. Hillary has been trumped by Trump. For all those who back Clinton during her fierce battle, a realization now that she won't be becoming America's first female president. And that's a bitter pill to swallow.